took the skin off the duck breast. Crisp, made them crispy and rendered down the fat in the pan. Added a couple cups of flour and one stick of butter. I'm going to make that dark roux out of the butter and duck fat. Now I'm going to add in the diced duck breast. Okay. Keep the fat off. Bring it down to part of the roux. Blonde roux in color. I'm adding the onions. That was one large onion, medium chop. Rendered duck fat and um, flour. We're going to make that roux. Okay, now i got a holy trinity in there. Duck meat. And dark roux. Constantly scraping that bottom of the pan. I just barely added the celery and bell peppers. It's not too important to have them cooking until the do the boil. But the onions have been um, sweated out in that dark roux. So now we're gonna add some chicken broth. You can the pan there. All that sticky goodness up on the bottom. real quick. So I'm putting in a container of chicken broth. Okay, going pretty generous with the Louisiana hot sauce right in the batch. Wait a minute, got a little bit of physical contamination in there. And hot sauce can be added at the end, of course, to each individual bowl or whatever. So that's probably pretty good right there. I'm gonna put a, a little bit of better than bouillon, both beef and chicken. Just a little. Just give it a nice uh, roasted flavor. Um, and the chicken. Um, as this as a flavor enhancer and sodium this is pretty high sodium right here salt plus it tastes great in the in the mix let that simmer for a minute I'm gonna add some ground thyme some garlic. There you have it. Duck. Okay. I'm gonna let that simmer for a few minutes. Those uh, crunchy pieces of skin, fried skin will soften up and my Holy Trinity will soften up then we'll put it over rice. Duck gumbo. Something to eat. Something to eat. Duck gumbo.